Happy September 23rd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. I had hoped to work on Ivy's personal emotional quest this weekend, but I didn't get to it. So let's do that first. I am thinking that on the 19th, when Ivy sprinted and leapt off the tower to try to catch the falling unconscious queen... Ivy's uh, last emotional fulfillment opportunity was when the tower wall exploded and a child was thrown from it. We decided then that it was a similar situation to the accident with Ivy and her sister. Uh, so I'm thinking this event mirrors it as well. I think this time Ivy was in the air and diving toward the queen before she even remembered that she couldn't fly because she has encased herself in armor and it's that realization on the way down that for a moment she forgot forgot about her unspoken promise to her sister and herself that if her sister can't fly then neither will she so the question i have is does this momentary lapse result in ivy progressing or uh, regressing in her emotional quest so here's mythic i think um I think this is uh, this scenario is uh, mirrors our character's issue rather than just touching on it. So we've got a very likely odds um, that Ivy progresses here. So oops, let's see. There we go. So we're looking at this row here. I'm going to roll. Uh, where are my percentile die? Here we go. Uh, white is tens. We get a 52, and very likely that is a yes. Not an exceptional yes, but yes, Ivy does grow from this moment. So she is going to get a plus one to her current fulfillment value, which takes her to five. Is that going to come off of there? So we're at five of 12. She's almost halfway on her emotional journey and now what does that mean um it's only for a moment but when ivy realizes she forgot about the whole situation uh she also realizes that she can forget the pain of that uh, trauma she doesn't have time to really process it but it's a revelation that in that moment she felt maybe she felt forgiven not by her sister or her mother but at least maybe by herself just for a moment and then the present moment reasserts itself and she catches the queen fueled by these feelings but uh concentrating on the crisis at hand ivy deploys her leaf riding gear and lands them both in the courtyard all right flashback concluded okay when last we played uh ivy was goaded into speaking to a solemn crowd that was gathered in the wake of the insect king Rathex's incursion into Crown Spire. The insects are gone, so that's good, but the elements of life are gone, the spirit of the Tree of Seasons is gone, and the queen is in a coma and not responding to treatment. Ivy was unable to inspire the crowd. In fact, they turned on her and blamed her for all that's transpired. It was all Ivy could do just to get out of there safely, and that is where we left things so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today climbing to the top of the spire you step onto the balcony where the fierce battle transpired to your surprise you find master laurel examining the remnants of the statue that Rathex had transformed into we're gonna do two things in order speak with master laurel and then examine the statue i don't see any Hidden icons here, so here we go. Speak with Master Laurel. Uh, he says, It's good to see you've made a swift recovery. Fortunately, my injuries were limited to a broken arm during the attack, so I should be fine soon. I heard Captain Flint is doing better as well. Have you spoken to her? Did she say anything about what happened? It is hard to believe that the tree's power transformed King Rathex into nothing more than stone. 
He's nothing but a statue now. I've been up here studying it extensively. There are no remnants of magical power that I can sense. While removing it is on our agenda, we have more immediate concerns. Losing the elements of life when we were on the cusp of reviving the tree is a profound loss. Sadly, it seems the tree is beyond recovery at this point. We can't bring it back as we intended. And what we experienced with the dangerous weather was the first of the troubles we will surely experience now. We must act quickly. The only hope we have now is to get a new seed. We need you to find the last guardian. Aha! There is a... I knew it! There's a fourth guardian. We've already asked so much of you, but I know that you can do it. Are you up for the task? Ivy is most definitely up for the task. Examine the statue. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Reminder, arcane adept and student. We're not an arcane adept, nor do we have one, but we have Ivan, who's a student, who might be able to help us here. Here we go. Six <laughs> plus two is eight. Uh, if we can get one more point. No. Oh, six, two, eight. We need, yeah, one more point will get us the middle result. So here we go. Ivan, do we have anything? And we have Tank, who can help us with, with wisdom. Either one would get us there. So, Ivan, let's try Ivan first. Student, we just need a heart or a diamond. And uh, and we'll get plus two from Ivan. And nope, we don't get it. Okay, how about Tank? Tank, can you get us one wisdom point? We need a club greater than or equal to four. Here we go. Nope. Okay. It is the worst result. I don't think there's anything else we've got that can help us. So, where did I put the paper? Here it is. Worst result. The exterior of the structure appears to be nothing more than pure stone. Without prior knowledge, one would assume it is an expertly crafted statue. That, my friends, is September 23rd. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.